the State of Israel, His Excellency Isaac Herzog. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Please be seated. Today we celebrate the faces of Israel. The faces of Israel are diverse. They are Jewish and Arab. They are Muslim, Christian, and Druze. They are immigrants and native-born Israelis. They are men and women. They are members of the LGBTQ community and straight people. They are people who run the gamut of society. And today, we're going to come to know some of those faces. Israel has produced remarkable accomplishments. We have won Nobel Prizes and Olympic medals. We have produced remarkable innovations that are changing the world. We've even produced a Wonder Woman. And today, we're going to get to know a little bit about what makes this country so special and the human mosaic that makes Israel so remarkable. I'd like to thank the chairman of the Museum of Tolerance Jerusalem, Larry Meisel. The founder of the Museum of Tolerance, Rabbi Marvin Heyer. Jerusalem Post owner and publisher, Eli Azur. and Jerusalem Post CEO, Inbar Ashkenazi. I'd also like to acknowledge some of our distinguished speakers today, including the President of Israel, Isaac Herzog, the Mayor of Jerusalem, Mr. Moshe Leon, and of course, our keynote speaker today, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. We'll open our event today with a few words from Larry Meisel, Chairman of the Museum of Tolerance Jerusalem and our gracious host today. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's a great honor to be here and having such wonderful, distinguished guests. Uh, a lot of dreams come true. And uh, here we are in the Museum of Tolerance, Jerusalem. Uh, it too is a dream, and we're just now beginning. And so for all of you, Mr. President, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Governor, and uh, friends and guests, greetings. Our feet are standing within the gates of Jerusalem. Thus wrote King David in the book of Psalms when he sat in Jerusalem only a few hundred meters away from here as the king of the Jewish people. This week, after more than 3,000 years, we celebrate the 75th anniversary of the establishment of the State of Israel. Here, in the center of Jerusalem, the capital of the State of Israel and the Jewish people at the point of confluence between old city of Jerusalem and the new Jerusalem, the construction of a unique and magnificent structure has been completed. Built entirely from donations, 
with the intent of creating a place where a meeting in which many visitors will experience the story of the Jewish people, its values, its tolerance, and its contribution to human humanity. In Israel and throughout the world, amongst both Jews and non-Jews. In the past, it was the tent of Abraham, the father of the Jewish people, which was open according to tradition to the four winds, in which any guest could enter regardless of origin, race, gender, or religion. The Museum of Tolerance Jerusalem constitute by its very nature a center in which people will come become familiar with the fundamental value of the Jewish people and one that will become a modern Abraham tent. The center has two principal components. One is a museum in which visitors will have a meaningful experience and the other is an international conference center which will attract many guests from Israel and abroad and will expose them to the unique content of the museum. Construction of the building, the various halls and classrooms has been completed. We are currently hard at work completing the full range of experiential content for the visitors. The overriding story of the exhibits is based on a people that was exiled upon the destruction of the Second Temple that returned after 2,000 years to mandatory Palestine via immigrant ships, long treks, and various clandestine and other operations that brought the people back to its land. Throughout that period, the Jewish people were in a cultural and social discourse, and with the people that surrounded it, and in the course of doing so, its central values were formed from their faith, resistance to evil, solidarity and mutual responsibility, study, and the sanctity of life. The various exhibits will integrate new technologies that will create an encounter between the world of the past and the present. For example, the visitor will be able to experience an, an encounter with Rambam and other figures that hold a dialogue with them on their philosophies and thoughts of the past and how they can impact present day. After visitors have passed through the various exhibits, they were entered the beating heart of the museum, the social laboratory, where they must try to translate their experiences into current and practical discussions on current issues. Here, their ability to listen, comprehend, hear, and internalize will be tested where each one's personal opinion will be part of the fabric of different opinions, faiths, in which they must also respect and recognize the contribution of others. At this place in the heart of the center, visitors will encounter the others from different faiths cultures that have different ideas and values and it is here that the name of the place Museum of Tolerance Jerusalem finds its full expression. Dear guests, we are happy that you have come today to this very important conference here at the Museum of Tolerance Jerusalem. This week we celebrated the independence of the people of Israel in the state of Israel, both in Israel and abroad. Unfortunately, there are experiences at the same time, various disputes that lead to extreme discourse 
One side does not listen to the other's views. Here at the Museum of Tolerance Jerusalem, we are here to respect others with different faiths, different cultures and ideas and a supreme value. We will be happy to host meetings, round tables at any time in order to better share and instill those things that unify us, less those things that divide us. I will conclude with the same psalm which I opened my remarks with, in which King David emphasized his vision. Here is what is good and what is pleasant, and when brothers dwell together in harmony. Thank you for coming, all of you. We will be honored and look forward to seeing you again here many, many times. God bless.